Hello, if you're new to this channel, my name is Dan Shannon. I enjoy woodworking as a hobby and being out in the shop. On this channel, dive deep into my shop as we explore tools and tool reviews, as well as chatting about everything related to woodworking. If this grabs you by the tool belt, please subscribe to my channel if you want more videos like this. So in today's video, we're going to be reviewing the Rigid Router model number R860443. Now I've had this router now for close to a year. I really enjoy it. It's uh, fairly lightweight. It's easy to use uh, because you can control it with one hand. So if you're doing a, a bead of trim um, or an edge, you can do that very easily with this router just because it's lightweight. It's not too aggressive, but it's aggressive enough to, uh, to do what you're gonna do. So let's have a look at this, uh, this router that Rigid's made. So what are the features on this particular tool? Well, on the back, you'll see, uh, I'll turn it around for you there. So we'll see a locking mechanism. So what this does is it uh, releases the clamping uh, system for so your bottom plate to go up and down and this here is joined onto as you can see um, there's nice threads here so in order to free this up off the threads you just push in and of course the platform will raise or lower uh, depending on what you're uh, what you're trying to do with the unit and then another adjustment is this dial so as you can see uh, by raising it or lowering it, um, this unit is attached to the threads, which will allow up and down. So that's uh, pretty straightforward there. Uh, so once you get your depth, so say you wanted, um, you know, not the full bit exposed, you can just push in on this lever and raise the whole thing up, or you can lock that in place and use this dial knob to manually uh, give it a little bit more fine-tuning uh, for your depth and once you get it to where you want it you can just um, lower it there that's a good amount and then of course this is your lock again so that's um, that's the up and down uh, feature of this um, it's also good to note um, the speed adjustment on the front here so depending on what you're using um, for your project and what kind of wood uh, you're using, uh, you can adjust your, your speed. Uh, so you just turn it on and uh, so we'll do that. And then your speed from seven right down to one. So that's your speed settings uh, for this router. Um, other than that, uh, it takes a rigid battery, uh, this is 18 volts, uh, 4 amp hour, uh, so you can swap whatever rigid battery you want on there, bigger, smaller, uh, no matter. And uh, yeah, just uh, an overall uh, amazing router. Uh, it's got good run time uh, for projects. Uh, there is some attachments that you can put on this particular unit. And if you notice the uh, bottom plate is square, it also comes with a circle one. So depending on what you're doing, uh, you can swap out the circle um, or the square depending on the project. Uh, the other thing that it came with was uh, this piece here. So what that allows is uh, you clip it in and you can uh, clip on a vacuum or uh, it directs the sawdust um, directional instead of kind of all over the place. 
I tend to not want this in. I like to be able to see the bit um, with my eyes as I'm as I'm cutting. Uh, but the only issue is, of course, the sawdust you know, goes everywhere. Uh, but I use safety uh, glasses, so I'm not too concerned about that. So now that we have our depth, we're going to want to do our first pass on our board. Now, it's good to note that most routers, um, no matter the horsepower of each router, you're going to want to set your depth of your router bit accordingly. So you're never going to want to put it all the way down to get you your full um, your full bit. You're always going to want to bring it up for the first pass. So we're going to bring that up just like that. So the first pass, and then you of course put the lock on. The first pass, you only want a little bit of the bit to take off the wood uh, by doing a full router bit. Uh, you're going to bite off too much wood. It's going to allow sometimes for burning uh, if it's pine or um, if it's hardwood, uh, it's going to burn as well. So just to have less issue with uh, it snagging as well, sometimes when you put it to the wood, it will grab and, and move the router really quick and you don't want that. So it's always good to uh, first do a pass where your bit is not fully exposed. Uh, and then do a do a run. So we'll do a run now. So how you turn it on? There's a switch right here. You just pull it towards you. That turns on the router. And you want to place it and then move it in slowly. There's not a whole lot that was taken off and that's perfect because there's no issues with the wood it's nice and smooth it's not chunked out from uh, there being too much wood pulled off at once it's perfect and another thing I forgot to mention is this mat so this is just a cheap uh, mat you can get rubber ones you can get uh, ones that stick better uh, workbench and uh, the importance of that is your boards not gonna move around as you put the router to it It's gonna have some grip and, and stay put so that's a big safety uh, So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna change the depth So right now we just had it of course to the first pass so let's go ahead and uh, unlock it and then Lower it so there's two ways to do this you can either push in on this lever and it will lower it quickly because it lets go of the threads or you can keep it locked and use the uh, adjustment knob so that will give you your depth as well so i already know roughly where i want it so i'll just kind of drop it uh, down that's exactly where i want it for the next pass put the locker back on and now we can start it up and begin our our second um, pass. Okay, let's have a look at that, see how that turned out. So as you can see there, the depth uh, for the bit is full, so you get that nice edging and it cleaned up the, the side very nicely. Nice and smooth, that's exactly what you want. 
as a finished product. Now, let's move this bit. You're going to want to remove the battery. Let's take the battery off. And then you're going to want to unclamp this and move it all the way up so you have full access to this part in here where the wrench will go. So once that's up, you can lock this back. And then you want to take your black wrench that came with the unit, and you're going to want to hold, um, there's this, let's see if you can see that there, there's this little button here, you push that in, and that holds the, um, the middle shaft uh, so it locks in, and then you can loosen then, of course, the, the bolt. So let's go ahead and loosen the bolt. I had this one on pretty good. Alright, so now that it's freed up, you can just remove the, the bit. And uh, this one here has a wheel, so it's important to note the ones that have wheels on them are edge bits, so the wheel runs along the, the base. Uh, if it doesn't have a wheel, then it is not an edge bit, and it will actually gouge and, and run into the wood. So, um, one thing to note for, for bits that you're using. And then, of course, to swap in a new one, you repeat the same procedure. Uh, slide your bit back down in, hold this uh, locking button, and then uh, do the same locking with the wrench. Uh, until it's snug, let go of everything, and your bit is back in place. And of course, you can undo this and lower um, the housing and get your bit back to where you want it. So, hands on review of this uh, router. So, thank you.